Hey guys, today we're taking apart a Canon MG5520 printer. Um, I'm just going to turn off the printer and unplug it in the back. This is very similar to a lot of the MG5500 printers, 5400 also. So first what we're going to do is just unplug it here. And we'll just begin taking it apart. We're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. First I'll just get to the easier things to take off the printer with the power supply. It has a clamp over here and over here. It just kind of clips in there. So we're just going to pull it back. You don't really need tools for this. Um, there's two of them here and here. You can see them all on this side. And then we're just going to unplug the power supply carefully pull it out and here's our power supply for this printer and we have a tray we're going to pull it out remove the two screws right here back and we have the tray out um, here's the tray remove this front tray I'm just gonna lift it up like this pull it out of the right side and then here it's a little bit tricky because it has a bit of a it's held on with we don't want to break this side because it has a um, clamp that pulls it back and indicates the printer when it's open or closed so what you do is there's a piece of plastic in here that you just pull up slightly and that releases this side here. Be careful there. So then this top portion comes off. Just lift it up. Push it to the front. Now we're going to remove the control panel. There's a couple clips right here on the back of this hinge right here. We're just going to press it down and then move this back. We're going to do the same thing here. Press right in the back of this here and move this back. You can see this is what I was pressing down. So that's how we release that part. Now we're going to release over here. I'm just going to pull this bar down and move to either side. We're going to remove from this side and then this. And now we have the cord for the control panel. We can also remove the panel just by opening this up, just on clamps all around. You can use a flathead screwdriver to do so. And just push these down. going to push these in Then this just the top portion comes off. And this is where the screen is. That's how it's sold a lot of times without removing this portion. 
So you just remove the screws here. And press this clamp right here, press it in, and pull this out. Same thing on this side, I'm gonna push this in and take that side out straight up, like so. And then we can disconnect the cord over here. It connects by pulling this out. Pull it out without doing so. Then when you reinstall it, you have to push this up, put the cord in there, like so, and clamp it down. So, so that works. This is the screen and control panel. And we can remove this here. Now we're going to remove the sides. That's also um, there's no tools, uh, no uh, screws that hold it, so it's just the two clamp, the arrows that you see right here, you just push them in and pull this to the side, like so. Push this in something narrow, here we go. And we'll just do that all around where we see arrows. Example here. this right side out and we're gonna do the same thing on this side I'm gonna start from the back Okay, and on this side is where the logic board is, so we're just going to disconnect that. Pick this clamp up and take the wire out. There we go. Carefully disconnect one by one so you don't cause any damage to the board. And when you reconnect, make sure you put all cores where they're supposed to go. I'm gonna remove the logic board by unscrewing the core the screws here. So we've got three screws out. And here comes our board, which is also clamped in. There we go. So now this is the scanner unit, or the top portion of the printer is held just by a few screws. So we have a screw over here. Let's see if 
I can get it with. Got that screw out. And this is possibly the only one that's holding it down. So we can just go ahead and just connect these wiring right here. And then there's more clamps in the back. One here. And one right here. And that, with that we are able to open up the printer. Just make sure we don't cut any wiring here. So this is the inside of the printer. To get inside of the scanner, we'll just remove the scanner portion here with a few screws. Got two right there. And it's glued all around, so if you want to replace the scanner board, you have to um, be very careful to avoid breaking it. But this is how it's uh, held down by these two screws. You can just go around and just help the printer lift up, like so. Be careful with the glass. So that's not something I'm going to do right now, but um, this pretty much is the concept to get to the scanner unit. Let me see if we can just open it without trouble. It, most of the time it's glued with these models here. So if you want to go ahead and try that, that's something that's get under under there and uh, change that out so now we have our print head over here usually I try to start the disassembly video or any of the disassembly on the printers by having the print head in the middle so I don't have to push it over but you can always push these down and out of the resting place in here, like um, usually slides back. Like so it's locked somewhere in there, so we can just spin a few gears and it unlocks it. Then you want to be very careful not to damage anything. I'm gonna remove the ink cartridges out of here and pull the print head out, just like so. So print head just goes in like this. If you're not able to figure it out before, as long as you have this pulled out, print head slides into these rails here, goes down like this. And then locks in place. So that's how you pull the print head out. Very simple. You don't have to disassemble anything to do that. Um, now we're going to remove the carriage unit. First, let's get this timing strip out. Just pull to the right. On, and then you just pull it through. Then when you install it, make sure you pull it through the right area where it, where the sensor is. So this is the cord that goes to the from the carriage unit to the board. You can just remove it here with this, or we can just remove the cords from here and pull it out that way. So we have this one out, then we can remove the belt.
Let's just... There's the carry unit here. Yeah, we have our motor. And the, the wire just goes all back here, all the way to the board. So you can just untangle it. Or you can just replace it right here. And one of the last things, this is the absorber pad right here that we have. I'm just unclamp like this here and opens up. So you have to be careful with the cords. Same on this side. And then if you need to clean them or change them out, they just pull right out. And now we have this. back cover there. we're just going to use the screwdriver right here It's a bit of a hassle here, but it's something that could be removed with a bit of work here. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. Um, usually, this one doesn't come off, so all you need to do in order, if you have a problem with it, is just either replace these gears right here, which come out really easy, like so, these wheels, um, gears to be working, and then if you just wanna spend more time on it, you can also remove this from the sides and replace the whole thing if there's one for sale. Um, so basically this is, how it looks on the inside taking most parts out um, hopefully this video was able to guide you through some repairs if it did please like the video subscribe to our channel and have a wonderful day thank you